Being a part of NISD means that your email can help you access Google. You can sign into Google as well as sign into YouTube and create an account. This can be very helpful as you try to get videos uh, from your students off of the iPads. So how you would sign in to YouTube, uh, you will see right up here in the top right hand corner, I'm going to go to sign in. For it to load, I'm going to go ahead and put my Northwest email. No password, and that's a key, no password the first time. And then it's going to bring up another login where I'm just like I would my email, going to put my username and password. It's going to load. And you will see that my name is Brit Horn IT. If you're very first logging in, it's going to ask you to accept at the bottom and create your login name. And then I can upload here from the upload button at the top. So say if a student has emailed you a video or a project, then after going to upload, it will pull up this screen and you can go ahead and select the video file that you would like to upload here. Also want to show this arrow right here. It's going to let you see all the videos that you've created, um, how many people have watched them. So if I go to dashboard, you should have all of your class videos saved and you can share them with your class by giving them access to the link. So you can see I've created several tutorial videos that I now have saved on file in my YouTube account. Um, one last feature before ending the video when I'm at upload, you can see that you can also create a photo slideshow um, and you can edit your video if you want to make it shorter. So those are just some options that you have with your Northwest email and a great way to get student videos from the iPad into a link that can be easily shared via QR code um, or shortening the link and sending it out.